questions. <laughs> and there was no response on his end. Anyway, it was just one time. Joe's losing his fucking yeah. mind. Your, your work company asked you to do it? Or you? Did... I mean, it was optional, but I want to know, dude. I'm a lot of weird shit. But your shit, work paid for it? So I wanted to know. Why yeah. would your work pay for it? Why do they care what you are? Because my company's dope. All right. I actually like the place I work. It's crazy. Yeah, I'm, I'm with Joe on this But one, you could have just asked relatives? I mean, I could, but, you know, I already know all that shit. I want confirmation, Joseph. Oh, okay. I'm with Joe on this. Because I'm like, I what don't the fuck care. you need my what? shit for, man? Like, I, I mean... Don't... Look, well, you know what it is? is I, don't, I just don't trust people in a sense where, like, it's kind of like, like you know how we got family and kids or whatever. Yeah. I always, like, where I grew up at, like, when you grow up in the ghetto or yeah. in the neighborhood where nobody gives a fuck about, yeah. like, Ron Emanuel doesn't give a fuck about the South Side or West Side, we, we put ourselves in this bubble where, like, you don't need to know shit about my family, dude. Right. Like, you know, like, nobody gives a fuck about, you, you're not going to help us. Right. Why do you need to know that? Yeah. You know what I mean? So I, I've always had that, like... Incredibly suspect attitude. Yeah, like, yeah. If, if I'm at work, and like, hey, Joey, we need a blood sample. What the fuck are yeah, you in my blood for, dude? Get away from me. You know, like, it's just... Well, you will, if you're not Mexican, what are you? What could you possibly what be? What could I possibly... My dad's name is Via Gomez. He was born in fucking Mexico. What else do I need to know? I know, looking at me, that if I'm not 100% Irish, I'm what, Scottish. Like, right? you know what I mean? Like, what else? Like, if you go to the tower where my parents if were... If he comes back Indian, then I'd be shocked as shit, right? Yeah, like, you but. I don't care. I just, everyone's, it's just a new thing. And people know that, it, and there's no way Europeans are doing this. This has strictly got to be an American yeah, thing. Yeah, it's got to be. Cause like, yeah, because America's the melting pot. I mean, it's so, all, yeah. Yeah, but there's other, there's people in Switzerland again, that have I can like see, I can see French why, last names, you know? Yeah. I can see why you would want to know. Like, you know what I mean? I'm a like, lot of different shit. I, I would change how you felt about yourself. It was cool to learn. Well, that's cool, but I mean, like, I just... What if someone gets the test back and they find out, oh, my God, I'm part... Like, like well, I just... I just don't know why <laughs> Well, then they're racist and... <laughs> like, what if you, shit. You're, you're fucking... You don't like Jewish people, and you're just like, oh, If you're fuck, white, I'm look, 99, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, like, I'll save everyone the time. Or you're fucking out, like, build a wall. Oh, we'll fuck. do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what that's if, why these tests are good, because then the racists get mad at What does 23 and me charge? Say uh, I think it's 100 bucks. 100 bucks. Hey, everyone listening right now, just give me 10 bucks. I'll take a look at you, and I'll tell you what you are. All right. Now that's a deal. I'll t- ten bucks. I'll take. I'll look you up and down, and I'll give it to you. I'll break it down into your twenty five percent. This one, I'll nail it. Guaranteed, I'll nail it to at least ninety percent of the accuracy of the hundred dollar test. Yep. And if you don't believe them, send it I'll to twenty three. Like, and then you're gonna fucking find out Joe is right. I'll be like, let me smell you. It's Polish. Anyway. This is a Polish guy. <laughs> well, hey, speaking of that, like, remember that? You ever heard of that bar Watra? Watra that we I used to do the comedy shows at. With Mikey yeah, Hill, is a Polish bar, right? Pulaski or something. Forty-eight to Pulaski. Forty-eight. Well, it's straight up owned by a hardcore Polish dude, right? So when they first when we first started doing shows there, they had this motherfucker had like fifty disco balls on the fucking ceiling. Oh, that's always good for business. Velvet walls, mm. right? So he finally remodeled the whole fucking place. Like, Sex up against the velvet wall. He fucking funny. remodeled this place so awesome, right? You you know Pat Chase? Yeah. So I, I book him on a show after the remodelization. And that's what he got on. So he's like, "Whoa, give it up for Jack." This place looks less Polish, right? Like, <laughs> and Jack got mad. He's like, why is you over there talking shit? I'm like, dude, it does look a, le- a lot less Polish. Yeah, like, <laughs> for sure, man. That's why I love, though. You, talk, you mentioned Brett Ernst jokes earlier. When he was on the podcast, I liked it because there's something old school about dogging each other, which I thought was oh, a yeah, very dude. American thing. Be like, I'm Mexican. You, you smell like burritos. Because like, oh, yeah. you know, Brett talks about like growing up in the neighborhood with, yeah. the, with the mixed kids and the fucking... It just, I don't know. It almost was like a bonding thing.